So you've got a balancing act, sort of, that you're doing now. Um, you've got multiple sources for players, maybe even more than the three I'm thinking of. There's open tryouts, there's people you know through CK, and then there's the general Kitsap population. Sure. And all three of those are sort of happening, some publicly, but a lot behind the scenes. Um, what is your timeline for having s at least some of it together? No, but, yeah, that's a great question. I mean, we're... We're definitely still in the works with players in the background. We've identified players that we want to bring in. We're talking to those players. Um, I think when I'm talking to somebody like Colby, it's a, it's a little easier to get that over the line because of our rapport and history together. And he knows what I'm talking to him about, what he's stepping into. He, he realizes what he's coming into, and we're able to communicate that way. But of course, some of these other guys that we've identified, I haven't necessarily worked with yet. so. Building that rapport, sort of giving them the vision and allowing them to understand and ask their questions is important. And then there are other guys that I do know and we're just still working our way through it. So there's also us trying to identify people in the background, but I would also say I'm pretty confident in what we've identified and just sort of finalizing that and working it closer to getting it over the line. Okay, so we have this uh, expansive roster of two guys. <laughs> Colby and Sam, Sam Gomez. It's a great start. Yeah, so tell me about that, two midfielders. Yeah. How do you see the two of them playing together? I'm assuming you've never seen them on the pitch together. I've seen, or have you? I've seen moments. Okay. Sam coaches with me at CK, so we've gotten to see him come oh, play a little right. bit. That's right. Yeah. But I would also say they, they've done some great training together, like in small-sided stuff and individual trainings locally with Matt Aronimo, so shout out to Matt because he's great at putting those on, but um, I think they'll have a familiarity with each other, but also I'm able to visualize and see those two coming together in a, in a grand scheme of things, a big picture of 11 v 11, and I, I think we are heading in the right direction, especially on the midfield front, and then to have that spine start coming together, you can start piecing everything else together around it. Okay, well, good luck as training starts here in the next week or so. And um, remember, let's get to 11 as soon as we can. Yeah, working on it. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Thank you.